beautiful beginning for me, I think. I feel very lucky to have been able to start with my beautiful sister, my older sister Chloe, and the fact that we started from YouTube, just singing covers to like our favorite songs till, till now is like really crazy to even think about and I never thought in a million years it would get to this point, but it has. So I'm just constantly in a state of pinch me and forever just feeling so blessed and grateful to God. And I just think the fact that I get to do what I love for a living um, is a blessing. So just remembering that. But it's been a really, a really cool journey how we've gone from music at the start till now. Also, my album I have been working on for uh, about ever since I came home from filming. And I've just started working on my own music independently and quietly and um, allowing myself to just live and breathe music. And uh, now that it's coming together, it's really, really exciting. And the other day for the first time, I just started crying because I was like, I'm really happy with what, with what I've done so far musically on my own. And I was telling my sister and she was just explaining how proud of me that she is as well because out of us, I'm like the shyer ones. She's kind of always had to pull me along and, ho and hold my hand. I think the biggest thing I've learned um, in dating when it comes to dating in the public eye is that everybody is gonna f have an opinion about you, um, whether it's good or bad. And I've had this since I was younger. I think because I've grown up kind of in the public eye, people feel like they have a sort of I don't know, that they can say what they feel about my life, like they do with everyone in the public eye. But I've realized, uh, for me, I just go with my heart, I follow my heart, and I cherish what makes me happy. I have to stay off of social media. I mean, a lot of the times I have to take social media breaks. And it's hard when you're, you know, in the public eye because social media is also part of your work, you know? So it's a big part of what I do, but I have to set healthy boundaries for myself because just like anyone, I mean, if you see all these people saying whatever they want about you, your life, what you choose to decide, it's like that could take a toll on anyone. So I just have to step away and not look at any of that and then just live in the real world. <laughs> and that's what makes me happy. I think evolution to me means just a beautiful change and development and yourself as a human being. I feel that what's next for me is just maturing more with time. I feel like as I get older, I'm getting wiser. As I go through life experiences, I'm learning so much about myself. Um, but at the same time, I also want to keep my kind of childlike frame of mind because it leaves I just love looking at the world with like rose colored glasses. I feel like it helps me creatively and just looking at the glass half full, you know, really helps. So I don't know, just more music, more change, more happiness and more freedom, more letting this girl inside of me out. <laughs>